Greetings everyone, welcome to Age of Empires 2, the HD edition with the African Kingdom campaigns to a Tariq Ibn Ziyad. We're gonna continue with the fourth mission, crossing the Pyrenees. 732 AD, year 110 of the Hijira. After many years, our people have finally found another glorious leader to follow seeking vengeance for the defeat of our armies at the hands of the Franks over ten years before. Abd ar-Rahman al-Gafiki has rallied our armies for another campaign. Bred on the battlefield, al-Gafiki is no stranger to the ways of war. Having waged war on the Visigoths, Asturians and Franks, his most recent exploit was the quelling of a rebellion by the Berber governor in Catalonia. If we are to invade the land of the Franks, we must make a dangerous crossing of the Pyrenees. To arrive at the other side in time to start our campaign in the spring, we'll be forced to start this journey in the dead of winter. The rugged terrain is difficult for armies to cross, and ambushes will almost certainly be frequent. Many men will not survive the journey. I grow old, but I will make this journey through the frigid mountains so that I might see another year of conquest. The passes through the Pyrenees are treacherous and crawling with enemy troops. You have a long and trying journey ahead of you. Brace yourself for frigid winds and be wary of enemy ambushes. We must reach the Allied camp on the other side of the mountains before the cold of winter claims us all. Anam, Anam. Anam, Alright, we're gonna send our cavalry forward, obviously. Lusa, Lusa. They're our main army. Charge! Fuck, they're coming. Let's go this way, quickly. Form up. Shoot this guy dead. Incoming. His spear throws are quite good. Well, here is always a fortress in that too. I have already done this campaign a little bit halfly, but it was quite hard for me to do in moderate. I'm still doing it moderate, but I'm just giving another attempt to finish this. Let's keep moving now. We are nearing the open face of the mountain. Let us traverse this pass quickly, lest the cold winds sap us of our strength. Keep moving, guys. The Mipsilla has myth. Anam, the Mipsilla has myth. Anam, Anam. 
Demifsidi. Come on, guys. immediately and to skip out these enemies. Come on, quickly. Let's go out here. Because our HP is lowering slowly. Alright. What are you doing? Go out! Ah, great. We the brave that flooded mountain pass. Onwards! Come on, keep moving. Welcome to our humble village, my lord. Allow our blacksmith to upgrade your weapons. I don't get it why they didn't send us men, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's just keep moving out. We're close by. We're already past half of these lands, but there's much more path uh, to go than you guys think, really. <laughs> Yes! Okay, no one dead. Keep it going. Lusa. Go out, come on guys. Quickly. Lusa. Hurry up. The main road to the southeast is guarded by two enemy fortresses. We must take the mountain pass to the northeast. Ah, the mountain pass again. It's quite hard. Another infernal cliffside pass. Pray to Allah, it is the last. Alright, we're going out. Ah yes, here they are. Okay, we're making it out slowly. Oh yeah, fuck, I forgot something. Ah, it doesn't matter. We have braved that horrid mountain pass. Onwards. We are nearly there. An Asturian come. Let us fall upon it as wolves closing in for the kill. Should 
by now I forgot to read the objectives and hints and scouts whatever sorry but anyway after Rahman uh, al Gafiki and 50 men of your uh, 50 of your men at least one supply cart must reach Umayyad the camp of North Pyrenees the hints are navigate the terrain in Pyrenees is difficult to get accusimated to tight mountain pass and adapt your strategy accordingly the enemy fort is nestled in the mountains are high emergently if you encounter one of the turning around and finding another route is the best course of action you have no way in searching and researching upgrades, but local villages may be impressed by your army and supply you with upgrades you need. Protect your range units. Their tactical value increase exponentially in this land, cliff paths and narrow passes. Throughout uh, most of the map, the high walls mountains will protect your troops from the worst of the elements cliffed. However, our treasures and exposed harsh winds, units linger in them for too long will begin to suffer damage due to the exposure of the, to the cold. Your scouts report that Abd uh, uh, the army of the Abd, Abd Ar Rahman Al Gafiki, yellow. Has assembled near the local village just south of the Pyrenees Mountains. Their objective is across the treacherous region and rendezvous with Umayyad soldiers who have made camp north of the mountain range. A fellow local villagers, Grey, do dot the map overlooking important junctions and mountain passes. Their locations make them apart resting places, but seemingly little more. Three enemies posed a significant threat to Mwayad army as it's the crossing the Pyrenees. Asturias, the Red are the only fainter presence in the region, but their fortified base, a, ba, base Bastignon, in the center of the map, and well-trained heavily armored troops that nevertheless pose a threat worth considering. The Visigoths, purple, proud the eastern Pyrenees, and are based in the fortress overlooking one of the major eastern passes. Their balanced army of infantry, raised units, and light cavalry will provide stout opposite to anyone who would pass their way. The Basquees, green, are native to the western Pyrenees. Their army of light infantry, javelin leaders, and light infantry would normally only pose a token threat, but their adaptive strategy used to the terrain make them deadly to even more better equipped forces. Now, we don't have any more problems here. <laughs> Anam. Alright, let's move out. Anam. Lusa. Anam. Asid. Lusa. Anam. Asid. Lusa. Anam. Hejemef. Hejemef. Anam. Hejemef. Lusa. Anam. Keep it going. Anam. Lusa. We are nearly. A final busk ambush stands between us and our goal. Press forward and fight bravely. I nearly lost all my troops. I just had twenty two troops. <gasps> oh, my God. So low. Anam, we have braved the cruel wintry weather of the Pyrenees. Let us make camp, eat, rest, and then continue our conquests. Oh my god, that was so hard. <sighs> Truly, I have not endured such a trying journey in the entirety of my life. The cold and cruel winds were like nothing I have ever experienced. 
and the fear of enemy ambushes lurking behind every bend is enough to drive a man mad. Between the elements and enemy blades, many of our men perished on the crossing. Nevertheless, we arrived in considerable force on the other side. It is more than many hoped for. We have little time to rest and recover our strength. The Franks will not lie waiting forever. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Share the link to a friend. And of course, if you'd like to play a game together or would like to recommend the game, add me on Steam or write it down in the comments box below. The next mission will be the fifth and it will be the Razia. And obviously, I hope I thought there's one more mission, but I don't know if it's even, you know, after this. But anyway, I will see you guys in my next video.